Welcome back Roundtable. So this is actually my first blender tutorial. I'm gonna make it very short, easy and simple. Um, a couple of you guys who've seen my importing XNA Lara models into Maya asked me how to do it for Blender. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it coming up right after this. Hey guys, my name is Cliff, and if this is your first time at Roundtable Studios, we create animation videos and show you how you can create yours too. So Blender is probably the most popular 3D program out there, and XNA Lara is probably a great place to get access to some free models of popular characters. In order to get these models working in Blender, you have to do a small little process first. Um, you have to download an add-on that allows Blenders to read these files. The page with the download file can be found in the description and it gives you a little tutorial on how to do it, but I will show you how to do it here as well. All right, so now once you downloaded the file, all right, you're gonna go to File, User Preferences, and let's move this to the center, and you're gonna click the tab that says Add-ons right there in the center. Now you're gonna go to the bottom and click install add-on from file, and you're gonna find the folder that says XPS after you downloaded it. All right, so now let's make this look bigger. And we're gonna click the file that says 1.7.3, it's the latest file, and you're install the add-on from file. Now even though you installed it, you still have to enable that add-on into Blender, so you're gonna go ahead and search for it, and then click the checkbox to actually enable the add-on to the file. All right, so if you wanna remove it, you just open it up and click the X button, the remove button to do so. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and minimize. And then on your left bar, you should see a tab that says XPS on it. You're gonna click on it and go to import model. Once you click on that, you should open up, find your model. I have my dark side character here. All right, click on the XPS file and then import XNA model into Blender. So give it some time to load, and once you do that, you're pretty much done, all right? So you're gonna remove the cube here, uh, get this out the way, and not only do you have your character here, but it comes with all of the bones um, that would have been there on the XNA model. Um, it even has the face bones um, for you right there. And there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you want me to show you anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one.